How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy Tops, and I just coming at you with yet another uh, deck box review. So today I'm coming at you with the Opie Slim deck box uh, from Smart Cards. Uh, I'm not affiliated with Smart Cards at all, but I do uh, frankly enjoy this deck box. I do think it's pretty good, but I wanted to do a review on it after having it for oh, it's probably been almost uh, a, a little over a year now. Um, I ordered this, or probably almost two years now at this point. Um, I ordered this back when they first launched it. Uh, when they first launched it, it was nineteen ninety nine, and you, uh, they gave you about eight dollars shipping, and it was shipped immediately. So, it, you know, good props on to the time stuff. Uh, and we'll go over that a little bit more when we get to the actual scoring of everything. But I wanted to go over the deck box and just kind of show off some of the stuff and uh, talk about things as i go about it um uh if like i like in the previous ones uh that i've had uh for a while before doing the actual review i will talk about any wear and tear that uh, showed up on the original one and then if there is like some sort of wear and tear that i have uh been privy to uh then it will all, all you know i i like that's not something that would be like deducting out their points or something right so uh, just kind of going over it. So they got you got a clean side on the top, bottom, and side. Uh, on the front, you have the Opi style, which is uh, a reference to One Punch Man. And then on the back, you have their Smart Cards uh, logo, which is frankly pretty cool. Uh, overall, I like the embossed style. It's very simple. This uh, really simple yellow color for is is really sleek it's really simple it's that kind of uh kind of like fake pu leather um and frank and, and frankly like the the yellow isn't like a super solid yellow uh if you could tell it's it's frank it's got that little bit of um i want to say discoloring it's it's uh like variations in it uh which kind of comes with like that leather look uh, on the inside, you have uh, the top comes completely off, rather, and it's held together by magnets. Uh, there's three in each side, and it's got this really nice red interior. And then the actual deck box itself is a double deck box, uh, where you can uh, fit cards on both sides. It claims to be able to hold, I think it's a hundred sleeved cards. Um. This could definitely hold a hundred sleeve cards. I use it to hold like extra sleeves. These are these are double sleeved, um, and there's about sixty there. Um, those those don't have any actual cards in it though. And then this is, uh, the leftovers from a, from a Buster Blader deck, uh, with some extra sleeves and a few field centers. Um, and you know th that fits in there pretty perfectly. The inside of this is the same red as uh red as this um and frankly like the divider here is very good this is what i honestly expected from the uh from last week's video uh on the um imperium duelist one i expected the inside like this to be in the nami deck box unfortunately uh this deck box was uh <laughs> a much better deck box uh in theory uh, than that one is like although smaller so uh, i do like smaller deck boxes like this i like the idea of them because if you were to get just like a few of the like one or two of these and you took these uh with you to like a regional or something just like to have side deck cards and stuff um i like doing this with, with uh when testing if i'm going out to locals or something and i'm and like i'm testing with friends uh smaller deck boxes like this or like the armored corgi deck box uh, I absolutely do like them because the idea is that, like, having that sleek design, they're able to fit in your backpack and stuff fairly easily. Um, just being able to hold, like, a bunch of different cards that you would use for, like, a side deck or maybe, like, tech cards and things. Like, uh, especially, like, if you're, if you're like, a, uh, a fusion player like me, I love Invoked. And then also, like, Sprite, Sprite has tons of tech cards. So being able to have uh, tech cards on the side for me is really uh you know alongside my deck is really important to me and being able to fit them really uh easily and compactly i guess is the right word for it right um is pretty cool so uh overall this this deck box is really nice 
um, even though it's super compact. Uh, but to go over the different, uh, to go over some of the different scoring, uh, we'll we'll move right on to that. All right, and we're back. Sorry about that. I had to. Uh, what what is just a few seconds for you was you know I had to go create the whole image, uh, for it and everything. So, uh, to start off with the price, the price gets a three out of five. Um, oddly enough, so the main reason why this gets a three out of five is because, uh, Smart Cards does. Uh, or smart card just did um probably one of the worst maneuvers that i have seen uh when it comes to deck boxes uh they've raised the price <laughs> um so the opi slim deck box uh, was supposed to be a limited run deck box and instead of having it be a limited run i guess they just upped the price so while i paid 19.99 uh, just flat rate, and then I paid for I paid seven ninety for shipping for a total of twenty seven eighty nine. Uh, the price of the boxes now are twenty three ninety nine, and that's it's it's only it's only a four dollar increase, yeah. But the the fact that it is an increase in price, um, while probably shipping hasn't changed at all, is frankly, in my opinion, pretty uh pretty pretty much bad. It's it's bad in my opinion, um. So for for price is going to get a three out of five, even though it is a pretty cheap deck box overall. Twenty bucks I think was would have been perfect for this, and it, w it would have been fine to stay that way. I don't think that upping the price to twenty four ninety nine is just, was was a smart choice, and I really do disagree with it. Uh, for detail. Uh, for the, for detail they got a four out of five because they do have a very nice attention to detail. I love the opi. Uh, I I do love the opi design. They stayed very true to it from uh from the uh, one punch man uh gimmick and everything. Uh if you even go to the uh webpage, which will be linked in the description below, uh the webpage for the product will have like a Funko Pop of Saitama like in the background and stuff. So uh very much like it's very clear that they understood what they were how they were branding it. Uh for the time score, they get a five out of five. And the reason why they get a 5 out of 5 is because, like, immediately after I ordered it, and I ordered it the day it came out, uh, they, which was February 13th, they, they shipped it, like, pretty much, like, the next day. And it got to me by the 16th. Um, for $8 shipping, to get it in basically two days was, uh, was, was great. So... I absolutely think that uh, time-wise, perfect. Um, and on top of that, the deck box has lasted me almost two years, and looks the same as it did when it uh, when it showed up here. So like it's a it's a it's a sturdy deck box. It's it's a good deck box. Um, it, it's it's it, it's relatively worth the twenty four, but the the change in price is like the main reason for those dock points earlier, and then. F and then for me, the final score is a three out of five. Now I don't mind the deck box. I think the deck box. I think the deck box is good. Um, but the reason why it gets a three out of five for the personal taste score is because it's just not my cup of tea. While it's a deck box that I will very much use because of the kind of deck box that it is, um, I don't really care so much about the whole opi. Uh, style thing um one punch man i think is a fine anime but it it's just kind of a bunch of memes at this point like it, it, it was a satire anime that's kind of gone beyond the satire stuff and uh having it and the reason why i bring that up is because this deck box obviously has its roots tied very deeply to uh that anime and to and from the creators of the deck box uh come to this to this the design is really sleek and really nice. I really like this deck box. If you had just made, if you, if you made just a deck box that was, um, like, and, and I guess this is like what I would, what I would prefer that that would be, right? So if you had this deck box, if it, if, if, if the the Opie thing is fine, I think that's, I think that's perfectly okay. It's like a gimmick thing. It's whatever. But like, at the same time, if you had made a version of it without the Opi, for like possibly cheaper or something, I don't know. Um, you take this off and then you take this off here and you put it down here or something or on the side, like somewhere where it's not like front and center. Or if you, even if you just put it on like the inside flap or something, um, you know, preferably like on the bottom, you can put your branding. Cause like this way, 
because because I haven't seen any other style uh, anybody do this style deck box like the the um the two the like outside of um like armored corgi with like with their senpai colored deck box um and until then I didn't really see anybody do like this style of deck box like you had uh the older deck boxes that were similar to armored corgi like this. Um, but this deck box is, is much thicker. The cards go inside. The cards can go in sideways, right? Uh, and typically the idea is like it holds two, uh, two to three, um, like smaller deck boxes, essentially. This is just like a double-sided deck box that's supposed to be really slim. And while I absolutely think that this is a cool concept, I think that if you had just put the logo on the bottom, uh, not had Opie, and then... You can make this easily adjustable colors, and for and if you made this twenty bucks, uh, or like eighteen dollars with seven dollar with seven dollar shipping, you could easily make twenty five per box, basically, or uh, like about twenty five dollars per box, and in solid colors and such, I think this would be fine. Um, this is a like basically akin to how the, the some of the Chinese companies are doing it for the single deck boxes, um, because they're killing it in my opinion, and when it comes to not quality per se, but to how easily uh, and cheaply it is to get solid deck boxes in the colors that you want and the designs that you want uh, for about as much as the same uh, luxury deck box. Now, that isn't to say that this is a terrible deck box. Like, while I have, you know, ideas for for changes and stuff, and it's a 3 out of 5, a 3 out of 5 is not terrible by any stretch. And with the overall score, uh, it kind of shows that. So an overall score of 15 out of 20 means that it gets a 75%, uh, basically. And a 75% is not a bad score. I think, uh, you, you know, until something starts reaching like a 60%, I don't think it's a bad score, right? Like like every, every deck box that I've uh, gone over in the last few weeks has had some sort of redeeming quality. Usually the usually the most redeeming quality is the time frame, and uh in the time like the time frame as in uh in in both re uh, retrospects of how fast it gets to you, uh how long it, if you pre order it how long it takes to get to you, or if you pre order how long it takes to ship if it ships how long it takes to get to you, and then how long does it last after you get it? So some deck boxes I can't do the the last one like obviously the Banner Moon deck box just released and just came out, um that was a few weeks ago, um the but like some of the other ones such as the Vixen line and the Charity deck box and this one too, uh absolutely I I believe that it's, uh you know it's something that I can attest to especially this one this one I've had for almost two years and it's. Uh, it, it's 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 been sturdy. It's been good, and I have dropped this one, uh, like the charity deck box. I dropped like a single time, and like the the corner was a little bit of a it was a little bit of a ding. Uh, this one I have dropped multiple times, and it's not because of it's like bad or anything. It's just actually because the center of gravity on this is pretty bad, um, in in a way. So because of the because of the thicker top, uh, it's prone to wobble. It's prone to wobble really easily when it has cards in it. Or when it doesn't have cards in it. So when I have like maybe like this side has cards, this side doesn't. If it's just like sitting towards the end of a table and you go like and it just it just wobbles over and it just falls right over. So like it's it's very easy for this to fall over, but it's sturdy, it's good. I absolutely do love it. I think this deck box is good, but at the same time, I don't think it's a, it's nowhere it's not near a perfect score. So at the end of the day, a seventy-five, a seventy-five percent, or a fifteen out of twenty, I think, is a good score to give it. And uh, yeah, do I recommend picking this up? Well, if you don't mind paying the few extra dollars and you want a deck box that's good for holding like your side decks and stuff, um, or just some extra cards, and you know you don't want to use like a, you don't want to use like one of those little two by two binders or something because or 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 what have you um then yeah no that makes sense it makes sense to get one of these uh otherwise you know you stick with your two by two binder it essentially does the same thing and uh you know it's, whichever one's more your fancy if you like having the binder to show stuff off with and, and take them all take them all out sure if you like being able to hold a bunch of cards in a really compact space that way i think the deck box is good for you so uh, anyway guys that'll be it for me in this one uh, if you like the video please leave a like uh, if you want to pick up uh, some deck boxes from Gemtech, 
please use the code Teddy Furry Ten in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, it will save you ten percent off, which is overall free shipping. Uh, if you want to join the Discord and talk to me, or if you've ordered a deck box like this and want to talk about it, uh, feel free to use the invite uh, in the description. There'll also be one up here, and also. Uh, if you again, if you want to order this deck box, it, the link to this will be in the description. We don't discriminate when we order a deck box and we and we review it. We put it in the description, uh, even if I don't absolutely agree with some of their business practices. You know, we'll put it there. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great day. God bless you and peace.